Yo. Alright, so today we got this admin menu video that y'all have been waiting for. I've been sitting in here hours a day setting these joints up for you and I finally got the video. First, what you want to start off, these are the easy steps. After you already put in V2 files, you want to copy this, go to your server CFG, not your backup, sorry, your server CFG. And you want to put the first one in here, just like that. I'm going to put the second one in here just like that. Obviously, I already had them. They just need to be put in. Second off, there was the mini V error in my files. About it's not loading up before the admin menu. You want to take this start menu V. And you want to just put it over system. So, for example, like that. You can copy that. Exactly. Save content. Everything will be included inside of the PhD gang discord. So now what you want to do is you want to go over and download this from five and files V2. This is basically the fixed admin menu. We're going to open it. This is what we get right here. You want to go into ESX. And you want to delete this Dame admin and replace it with the new one. Now what you want to do is you want to open up config.lua. You want to fill in it, your server name. Right now I'm working on bankrupt server. He's one of the admins in PXD. Really cool ass dude. And show love to MMGRP of course. He be sitting in calls hours a day with me. Helping y'all out. So show them some major love. Obviously, everything you see here is already filled out. But we're going to refill it out with you guys. Right here, what you want to do is put your server name, obviously. You want to put your Discord link. Your guild ID. So what you want to do is you want to head over to your Discord server. Right click it. Press copy ID. If you don't see copy ID, you want to go over to advanced. Turn on developer mode. So now we got the goat ID, the bot token. So what you want to do is you want to head over to Discord developer portal. Head into here. You want to press new application. Name it MMGRP. Well, don't name it MMGRP. Name it your server name or anything. Honestly, you can name it whatever you want. It'll work. So now that we got this right here, you want to go to bot, you want to go to add bot, press yes, do it. Now you got your bot. Press reset token. I have 2FA. For other people, it may just pop up. I'll be back when I put my 2FA. Okay. Now that we got our token right here, you want to press copy, head back over to your files, and replace it right here. That's going to be your bot token. That's going to be the thing that gets the roles and connects the admin menu to your Discord server. For screenshot webhook, you want a channel for screenshot logs. Create your channel, right click, go to edit, go to integrations, go to view webhooks, press new webhook, open it, press copy webhook IRL, and go in. Put that right there. That is all we need to do for the config.lua. Now we are going to head over to the menu perms.lua. This is generally easy too. You want to go over. So this is the owner role. It doesn't have to be named founder. You want to copy ID. Again, if this doesn't pop up, head over to advanced in your settings and turn on developer mode. Replace that right there. And it's on. So now what you want to do is Want to head over to Discord Developer Portal? Go back to your bot, OAuth2, URL, URL generator, bot, administrator, copy this link. After you copy this link, this is going to be the link that adds the bot to your server. So we're going to go ahead and add this to the server. I hit you with one of these. 
And now you can see it's in the server. Now that it's connected, you wanna, I'm gonna turn off TX for this. I personally don't like TX that much. And um, you don't have to obviously. I'm gonna turn off TX because I like working from the console on Vibe. Other people like working on the console on TX more. It's up to you. So I'm gonna go ahead and restart the server. Once this load up, once this loads up, it's gonna say it's connected to the Discord server. I'll be back when it loads up. Now that I'm loading the server, press F9. If it doesn't pop up, don't panic. What you wanna do is quit the game, head back over to Vibe Games or whatever you're using. If you're using TX, just use your live console. You wanna type in restart game dash admin. And you can see that right there. It's now restarted. For TX, you would do the same thing on their live console. Type exactly the same thing. Now I'm gonna load back into the server. I'll be back once I'm loaded in. Okay, now that I have loaded into the server, you can see right here, Dame, receive admin menu permissions for player Dame, founder permissions. Go back into your 5M, make sure y'all can see it. Press F9 and you got it. All works. Try going to myself, bringing myself. All that, man. I can even kick myself. But that's it for the video, man. Fully working admin menu. Enjoy, y'all. I'll catch y'all in the next one.